This is Alvin again. How are you at making plans? Have you ever said, this is a sure thing because the outcome seemed so obvious, only to discover very soon that it was really a house of cards since everything came crashing to the ground. As we reflect a bit further in the book of James, he warns us about the folly of boasting about tomorrow. We read in James 4, 13 and 14. Now listen you who say today or tomorrow we will go into this or that city, spend a year there, carry on business and make money. Why you don't even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. As James begins this section, he warns us to beware of boasting about tomorrow, about the arrogance of imagining that we have total control over the events of our lives. Do you remember the start of year 2020? What a great year it was going to be. What promises we held out for it. It was going to be a year of economic boom, a year of prosperity, a year of vision. Needless to say, no one could have predicted the devastation that COVID-19 would have brought. No one should boast about tomorrow. And perhaps you had some surefire plans yourself that just couldn't fail, but they did. These businessmen in James' scenario were arrogantly assuming that they will wake up in the morning, that they will get to the city safely, that they will do business in the city, and over a year, they will make a lot of money. They were presuming all of these things about an unknown future over which they had no control or no guarantees. You see, we must come to grips with the idea that we really don't know anything about the future. James is not saying that we shouldn't plan for tomorrow. If we fail to plan, we plan to fail. But when we plan, we should remember that everything is subject to God's will. Proverbs 16 verse 9 says, In their hearts human plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. James asks, What is your life? You are a mist, a vapor that appears for a little while, then vanishes. A vapor is short-lived. You see the steam coming out of your coffee cup, and in just a few seconds it disappears into the air. James says, life is like that. How does this knowledge prepare us for tomorrow? Not just for the day after today, but for eternity. We must live each day as if it were our last. First and foremost, we must get connected to the giver of life, the one who holds tomorrow, the one who holds the future. What is a sure thing? A sure thing would be something that we need, of which we can be sure that we will receive it. I contend that there is really only one sure thing in this life on which you can count. Jesus said, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in or steal. So let us acknowledge God in everything that we do and plan with the understanding that at any time, God may override our plans. Because as his children, he cares deeply about the welfare of our lives. May the Lord bless you. Amen.